Hello and welcome one and all to another episode of Let's Cook. This is Chef Nabil and I have an amazing recipe for you. So please stay tuned, we'll be right back. Today, as you can see from all uh, the stuff in here, it's all fresh. We are going to do Mexican dish. It's a crunch wrap. Actually, I should uh, take that back. It says American Mexican, okay? Uh, if you go to Mexico, you probably won't get it, but you will get it in the United States. Uh, it's a uh, comfort food, comfort food time. So we're going to, uh, to, too many ingredients, so I will just uh, tell you as we go along. I need some uh, beef, and we are going to saute it, uh, brown it, caramelize it, uh, whichever you call it, okay? And to that, I'll add some uh, uh, some uh, spices, okay? Here I have paprika or uh, or hot pepper, one or the other. I don't know. We're going to use both anyway. Okay, they, they look alike, as you could see. Could be spicy, you could adjust the spice to your liking. Okay, we have some cumin. This is optional. I have some uh, taco mix uh, spice, which will have some of the stuff that we already used. Uh, we have salt and pepper. Okay, and that's it as far as our meat is concerned. We will, oh, phew. man, the smell just hit me. Uh, we wanted to, uh, Caramelize and I cannot see from the steam, uh, but this is uh, perfect. Okay, but it uh, does its thing. <coughs> now, uh, we're going to put it in a tortilla. It's not a tortilla, okay? Tortilla. Uh, double L in Spanish means I, like paella, for example. Uh, La Jolla, okay? That's a city in California, around San Diego. Uh, so we have a tostada and we have a tortilla. We're gonna cut the middle of this thing. Okay, just like so. Oops. Try not to break the tostada, please. Just like I did. And do as I say, not as I do. Okay, all right. Not perfect, but it's, it's, it's okay. Uh, then, we will have this, uh, another tortilla, and we're gonna build it up. We're going to make three layers, and then we're gonna cover it up with all these good, uh, goodies here. Now, we just need to check on our meat. As you could see, I'm back using my tongue, my tongues. Um, I just feel very comfortable working with them. I'm sure you have a tool in the kitchen you like to work with. Uh, I put the meat in on high heat and no oil in the pan, okay? So, It's 
doing well. It will take uh, a little bit of, of time. Don't rush it, let it do its thing. Uh, let it release all the juices inside, all the water, or everything, and uh, change the color to darker brown. Almost like you think it's burnt, but it is not. Okay, and it will release some water. We will drain that and we will use the meat. You could use this meat, by the way, for uh, taco. It's, it's beautiful, okay? All of this could be used in taco and tacos. Okay, you just build it as you like. There is no right or wrong here again. You can put whatever you like. <coughs> Sorry and uh, omit whatever you don't like. It's, uh, this is nothing traditional about it. It's just, uh, you know, creation of a restaurant in uh, the States. I would venture to guess in California, okay, where there's a lot of Mexican, or Texas, there are a lot of Mexican uh, immigrants there. A lot of Hispanic community in uh, those two uh, states in specific. And uh, by the way, the uh, Mexicans have a very rich culture. We don't know much about it here. But if you get to know them as people, as uh, culture, they're quite fascinating. And uh, they are wonderful people. I happen to have known a lot of people uh, through my life, throughout my life, through my stay in the United States for uh, 17 some years. I met a lot of them, very, very fine people. And uh, of course, who wouldn't know uh, Salma Hayek, you know? Uh, she is Mexican. I think she has Lebanese origins or something, but she is a Mexican anyway. Uh, this is almost ready. I just like it to be a bit uh, more uh, darker. And the smell is, and the studio is unbelievable, unbelievable. Okay. We are almost uh, ready with this. Uh, this did not release too much uh, fluids, which is good. Okay. Um, that means uh, I thought it would have more uh, fat content in it, but it didn't, which is fine. Okay, let's build. Uh, first, we need uh, refried beans. I usually <coughs> make my own. It's very easy to make. I promise uh, sometime I will show you how to make it. We will make some other Mexican dishes. Uh, this one is a store-bought. I didn't have time to make today. Okay. Then we will have some of uh, this nice meat. I can use this, no problem. They know each other. Okay. And then I have slices of Monterey Jack. What the heck, let's put two. Then we'll have our tostada. And there we will have, uh, what would you like to have? Um, let me see. It's really up to you, you know. Uh, let's go with tomatoes. I'll have some avocado, thank you very much. I like that. Lettuce. Okay. This is just mixed of cheeses and more cheese. OK, 
come on. Okay. And then we'll cover it up with the other slice of tortilla. Now the trick. This is a tricky a little bit. Uh, we will need to close it as such. Okay. Eh, not bad. It will actually stay once we fry it. Now, we'll just let it sit like so. And I will need to get uh, a new pan, a new frying pan, and uh, to finish the dish. And I'll be back with you in just a minute. Stay tuned. All right, we are back. I have a, a frying pan here. We'll just some, put some of this nice maza oil in it and uh, we need to heat it up. Just a second. Uh, which gives me a chance to tell you, uh, I have to clean everything. I cannot work in a dirty kitchen, honestly. Uh, most of my vegetables, uh, I get it from uh, Peninsula Farm. I mean, they are just the best, uh, honestly. Th they are the best. The nicest, the freshest, the crispiest, the tastiest, the sweetest tomatoes. Uh, look for them in your supermarket shelf or even go and visit with them. Uh, it's a wonderful place. It's like an oasis in the middle, uh, middle of the desert. All right, uh, that said, my friends from Maza also sent us a lot of things. We've been using their uh, products throughout this series. Okay, let me, you know, I have, I can't believe this. I always forget something, always. Let me see if I can uh, try it again because I wanna, this is important. Here I have a uh, chipotle sauce uh, or salsa, okay? Um, uh, it is nice and hot. Um, and I forgot a major ingredient, and that is sour cream. I can't believe, it. you know, this is uh, becoming an annoying thing with me. I keep forgetting stuff, even though it's in front of me. Don't say it's age. You won't, you know, that's not nice. Okay, it's something. Close it again. Okay. <laughs> now it's stirring up. Okay. Well, we'll see it. See how it does. We'll put it uh, this side of the down. It should close, it should seal once you put it down. Uh, do you guys forget things in the kitchen or just me? You know, I don't know. Uh, it's becoming uh, t too much of a habit. Let me clean up here. This will take about five minutes on each side. Okay, we, not, we wanted a nice crispy and golden color. And uh, maybe it should take less, but anyway. Uh, we'll do another one, okay, while we wait for this one. Let's hope we don't forget anything to do this time. And we will need uh, something to turn it with. 
Okay. Well, considering uh, we had to reopen it, we didn't do too badly here, but this one should be better. Okay, so we start with the refried beans. Monterey Jack, getting them ready. Get some my some of the meat. Okay, and oh, not your turn. Okay, now we go with tomatoes. Anything you like, really. There is no order here. By the way, you could put uh, cilantro if you like, coriander. It's quite okay. And we need avocados. We need the chipotle. In case you don't know, chipotle is a Mexican uh, uh, dry, most of the time it's a dried. Uh, pepper. I use it quite a lot. It's very, very nice, very tasty. Okay. And sour cream. We almost forgot it again. Okay. Just put it there. Now that is a wrap. Uh, let's take this one out, put it in a dish. Where is my thing? Okay, this is not the spatula I use for food, but this is what I have here. Ah, oh, it's nice and crispy, beautiful. Now, don't tell me this is not going to give you comfort. Uh, this is a wonderful, wonderful thing. We'll cut it open in a minute, but uh, let me just finish this one, okay? Hopefully this one will be better. And all right. That's it opened up a little bit, but it's okay, you get the idea. Uh, neatness does not count here, guys. This is, uh, this is comfort food as best as it comes. Now let's clean up this. We'll finish cleaning in a minute. Okay, and that is your crunch wrap. And uh, it's a wonderful meal to have anytime. When you're down, go for this. Uh, but always be happy. Uh, the uh, food will, uh, will make you happy here. We'll finish up the uh, the second one. Okay. Uh, guys, this is a crunch wrap, American, Mexican, Tex-Mex, if you like. Um, I would like you to try it sometime. Very nice, very, very satisfying meal, and uh, try it. You would like it, I'm sure, okay? 
Well, this is a wrap for me. Uh, no pun intended. Uh, <laughs> the crunch wrap. Anyway, uh, this, is, uh, this is a wrap for me. Thank you very much for joining me. This has been Let's Cook. I'm Chef Nabil. Until we meet next time, I bid you peace.